Hi, everybody. I'm Nacy. I am here reporting for Rock Metal Inc. Actually, we were invited tonight for a Night of a Thousand Gowns Gala, and we are here at the Hilton Hotel. So follow us because uh, we got a lot of great stuff. All right, stay tuned. We're back on the red carpet. We are here with one of the um, former housewife, right? Of That's right. Real Housewives, uh, Housewives of New York. That was three shows ago, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Alex McCord, how are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing good. Tell me about this gorgeous Why, dress. Thank you. This is my good friend Robin Briette. She's about to open a store downtown on West Broadway, and her fashions are just phenomenal. Um, I went over to her house the other day, and we were having a glass of wine, and she said, I dare you to show your boobs. <laughs> so here we go. I know. Do you have the toupee tape? Uh, yes, I do. Yeah. I don't leave home without it. In fact, I was just about to use my son's hot glue gun, but I didn't go that far. Right, right. Okay. <laughs> You're always here like every year, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. I believe we're presenting tonight. In fact, I'm not even sure what we're doing. We're just here to support. Right. Now, I know I saw you guys on Couples Therapy. Yes. And how was that experience? I have to say that was amazing. Um, the um, producers, Irwin Productions, who make couples therapy, were really great in that they just kind of let the cameras roll. Right. You know, when we saw it on screen, we didn't think, well, that didn't happen there, and that, you know, it, it was really real. And I'm, Yeah, you were like bearing your soul, and I'm like, oh my yeah. gosh, she's so brave. To it do was that. pretty amazing. Right. And yeah, obviously, you guys are doing better, right? We are. We're very happy to be here tonight, happy to be together, grateful for what we have. Right. So I wanted to know, why was it that you decided that you didn't want to do the Housewives anymore? Was that like... Oh, I was, part, I was part of a cast massacre. They got rid of half the cast, including me. Right. Um, and I have to say, I am really, really happy where I'm at right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Would I want to go back? Not on your life. Right. No way. No way. So what's going on with you nowadays? What have you been up to? Um, I am a fashion correspondent for Sulia.com and having a great time doing that. I write about 50 articles a week, so please look for me online at Sulia.com or on okay. Facebook and Twitter. Where can people find you all that? Um, I am McCord Alex on Twitter. Look me up and you'll find links to all my articles. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much and I guess we're off. All right, we're back. We are here at the Night of a Thousand Gowns. Actually, I bumped into dance, pop, recording artists. Reina, how are you doing, Mama? I'm good, darling. How are you? I'm doing fine. <laughs> Tell me about your gorgeous outfit here. <laughs> Actually, this is a Miko Star original. My, my stylist does stuff on the side every now and then. And she did this dress. I wanted to keep it very simple. Right. But I wanted, to, I wanted to give it in the shoes. <laughs> yes, I, 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 I noticed that. And I, I, give it in the I was shoes. working from, from <laughs> here all the way down. So we had to keep it simple here. Right. And there, so. Right. And talk about your mm. gorgeous necklace. Yes. You know, this is just, you know, a little costume jewelry for the fun of the night. So that's what it is. <laughs> and your shoes. Okay, let's talk about your shoes oh here. My God. Who did them? <laughs> <laughs> what the <they're laughs> <found themselves. laughs> So I know you're from the Boogie Down Bronx. Yes, I am. Represent, so right? <laughs> <laughs> so for those um, of you who don't know, Reina has a bunch of club dance hits. Um, one of my favorites, Find Another Woman. Oh my God. That's a classic. And you performed that last year because yes, I, I did see you last year. I did. That. that was my first time at Night of a Thousand Gowns, and it was an experience. Yes. And it, it, it was just a beautiful, magical night, and I'm here again, just as you know, just as a an honorary right. chairperson, right? Okay. <laughs> and as well, just a, you know, an attendee of the whole function, and it's just beautiful, and, and in total support of each of the organizations, and you know, lending my voice, lending yes. my anything that I can to yes. help make awareness and raise money. Oh, okay. Now, are you a big fan of RuPaul's Drag Race? Do I you am. Yes? I am. Yes. Have you been watching this season? I haven't because I've been in the studio. So I have a DVR though, okay. but I have, I've been busy doing stuff. You have like a favorite out of all of the seasons? Um, oh my God. I know Sahara's been on it and you know, I love her. Did you meet Chad Michaels? Uh, actually, I did a Pride with Chad oh, okay. That's um, great. last October in like South Carolina. So yes, yeah, so right. I definitely know her, yes. Okay. Now I want to know what's going on with you because we haven't heard from you in a while and I want to no, know like you know, there's been your fans want to know like what is she up to these days? There's so. been label changes and different things going on but I am still recording and I am still performing. I'm actually doing a couple of songs right now which has been in the studio recently and doing stuff for overseas so it's going to go over there and it's going to swing Europe. back here. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. All right. And uh, last but not least, where can people find you and 
you know, because they want to keep up with you and yeah. find out what's up with you. I'm on Twitter and Facebook at RainaMusic.com, so you can find me on both. Just follow okay. me there, yeah. And a message to all of your fans that are watching this. I love you guys, and I thank you so much for supporting me the way that you do and, and being fans and loving the music and just being there every step of the way. Thank you. I love you. All right. Follow her. Support <laughs> her. Yes, because we need more dance pop on the, you know, yes, out there. Yes, yes. Agreed. Yes, agreed. Definitely. <laughs> All right, Mommy. Thank you so much. Thank you look gorgeous. So reading. Uh, there's like an intermission. We're at the Night of a Thousand Scouts. And I bumped into a photographer, video director, Mr. Carl Giant. Hey. How are you? I'm well. How are you doing? I'm you look doing. gorgeous. Thank you. I like your little bedazzled outfit. Shiny, shiny, sparkly. Who did this little... Oh, suit? I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Even the sparkles of here? Of course. Oh, my God. I was a makeup artist before I was a photographer, so... Really? You know, you just get the look, you just yeah. spend a little time, like five minutes, and you're out the door. Right. Is this your first time here at the... Night? No, it's my second time. Okay. I love this event. It's, like, so much fun. Why do you love it so much? Because it's, like, I don't think I've ever had so much fun, um... Raising money for a good cause. Right. Like, I donated a photo shoot to the silent auction, so hopefully they bid high and make lots of money. Yeah, because your photography is, like, amazing. Well, thank you. Yes, I've, I've been following your work. I know that you direct videos. I know you do uh, Ultra and the Tape. Yeah, I direct, yeah, I direct, I've directed, like, seven of her videos. Yeah. Yes. I love her. She's a fierce bitch. Uh, I know you did the ones. I did the ones, and now I'm on that show called Jersey so Lish. I was going to ask yep. you about that. Yeah, and yes. oh, how's that experience filming? Uh, it has been uh, crazy. I'm so used to being behind the scenes that, like, being in front of the camera. Yeah, I'm not. I wasn't crazy. used to that. I was like, oh my god, now he's like out and about. Right. Yeah. yeah no. It, well, I, uh, yeah, they asked me a few times. I was like, no, I'm cool. And then they're like, shut up and do it. I'm like, all right. Right. And then we just came out with a book called The Glamour State, which is. New Jersey just celebrate. I'm from New York. Okay. Well, really from Boston, but like I've lived here forever. Right. But, you know, they filmed Jersey Licious in Jersey, and it was New Jersey's 225th anniversary as a state. Yes. And it always gets a bad rap. So, what we did was um, figure out all the things that were created in New Jersey. Glitter was created in New Jersey, yes. Teflon, and Delicate. Leopard print. Le well, I don't know if that was created there. <laughs> well, a lot of Jersey girls wear leopard print. Right. But so many things, like the camera was invented there, light oh, okay. bulbs, all this stuff. Right. So, everything that I use in my work. Right. Uh, was all invented in New Jersey, and so okay. don't make fun of New Jersey anymore because it's kind of cool. Oh, <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, what people do with their hair and their fashion is another story, but you know, you can rock it out anyway. So, uh, where can people find this book? People can find a book on Amazon.com or yes, Amazon.com. We, um, me, Olivia, and Anthony all did it. I did the photos. They did the yeah. It was a collaborative, amazing That's effort. Cool. Yeah. What about, are you going to come out with your own photography coffee table book? That has been in the works. Okay. That has been in the works. It's such a huge... It's a huge process to edit it all because right. I have three different kinds of photography. There's like the beauty kind, yeah. and then there's the hot, almost naked guys, right. and then there's like, like the celebrity stuff. So it's like, I don't, I want to do three books, but then... Can it's you great. merge it all into one? I, I've been it trying be to, too much. I've right? been trying to figure out that, but it's like I need a good editor. I'm usually a great editor, but I'm having a hard time doing it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's weird. All right. So where can people find you, or find your work and all that info? They can find me at carlgiant.com, like Carl with a K and Giant like Jolly Green. Yes. And that's my real name. Like, I didn't make it up. It's not oh, a stage no. name. Okay. It's like my mom's Mrs. Giant. Right. So carlgiant.com, you can see all the stuff. Or like my Facebook, I, post, I have a page on Facebook and I post all my new stuff there. Okay. So, What about a message to the your fans that are watching? <laughs> a moment of silence. Sparkle while doing good deeds. <laughs> okay. Like, look good helping others. Right. Yeah, just be yourself and don't, you know, be yourself. Like, look at me. Like, I, like, started this whole thing. I never took a class in my life or anything. Wow, I figured it all out. Right. And so many people are like, oh, I got to take a class. I got to do No, you just have to have the vision in your head and you just keep pressing whatever button until it comes true. Right. Like, if you suck at makeup, keep doing it over and over until you get better. You're right. like, you know what I mean? That's it. That's good advice, people. So, yes. Well. All right. Thank you so much you. for blessing us with uh, your presence. Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> bye bye. Sparkle while doing good deeds. <laughs> okay. Like, look good 
helping others. Right. Yeah, just be yourself and don't, you know, be yourself. Like, look at me. Like, I, like, started this whole thing. I never took a class in my life or anything. Wow, I figured it all out. Right. And so many people are like, oh, i got to take a class. got to do No, you just have to have the vision in your head and you just keep pressing whatever button until it comes true. Right. Like, if you suck at makeup, keep doing it over and over until you get better. You're right. like, you know what I mean? That's it. That's good advice, people, so... Yes. Well. All right. Thank you so much you. for blessing us with uh, your presence. Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> bye bye. Wilson Cruz and you're rocking with Rock Metal Inc. Hi, we're back. We are here. I was able to find somebody special. Actor Wilson Cruz. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. You're looking very dapper tonight. Thank you. Yes, this tall suit is like so structured right. and it just I have to tell you, yes. I, I, I put, kind of put it together, my, you know, it's all kind of like pieces. This is h and I'm not going to lie. Oh, I love h and H&M. H and m rocks. Zara. Okay. J. Crew. The shoes. Zara and Alfani. Okay. I'm telling you, I went cheap. <laughs> nice, though. It's, yes. You know. You know this, this, and, oh, and then I went and I got a Brooks Brothers. I went a little a Brooks Brothers. A, a little a little high end. Oh, okay. I think the handkerchief actually cost more than the whole outfit put together. Really? Okay. <laughs> hey, this is Chad Michaels, and you're rocking out with Rock Metal Inc. We're here. 
uh, with uh, RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star winner, Miss Chad Michaels. How are you doing? I'm doing great, girl. How are you? I'm fine. Tell me about your ensemble here. Oh, it's a little tribute to J-Lo and Spring, baby. Giving uh, yeah. you all kinds of leg and persimmon and tangelo and tangerine. Oh, wow. And my friend um, Fuddy Fashions out in California made this for me. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, you're performing tonight, right? I am. I'm doing a little number here later on. So. What about a message to your fans that are watching? Message to my fans, just thank you. Thank you for like all the support, support. and love because I'll tell you what, uh, we wouldn't make it without you guys and um, and even the haters. You know what? Thank you, haters, because you keep us in check. You really do. Sometimes you have a valid point. Most of the time you don't. But we are listening and we are paying attention <laughs> to everything. So thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, thank Chad. You. You're gorgeous. It's a pleasure. Mwah. Mwah.